And welcome to another edition, and you're the second part of South Texas Crossfire. This is Attorney Joe Flores. Now, what we are going to do right now is that election night, we were looking and unfolding, and perhaps this would be a better illustration. We're going to go to a clip uh, where our Ted Turner of Broadcasting uh, and Diamond Dave were filming there at the courthouse, and they were talking about the phenomenon of crossing over. And we're going to be hearing uh, one of the ladies there, uh, Susie Luna, who's also a political consultant, Nancy Vera, uh, a uh, very highly uh, esteemed educator, Renee Science as well, and uh, Abel Alonso uh, with La Voz. Uh, he has his own radio show and he uh, is talking, and they are all talking uh, about the vote and the voter turnout and why, and trying to give meaning to why there was such a tremendous flip as far as the Republican Party uh, coming out in droves, as it were, and some crossover in the Hispanic vote, and also talking about the politiquera system. So let's go to that clip. They want to be identified as a Partido de los Pobres. They want to be identified as the people that are educated and coming out in front and making something of themselves. That's why El Partido de los Pobres, La Palanca, and those old sayings are out uh, of the way. Uh, don't, don't insult. Don't insult us. The Palanca was something that, we, that needed to be done when during when the time that Dr. Hector uh, P. Garcia was here. Let's not confuse the issue. The issue is that we're not the party of the poor, we're the party for those people who are under underprivileged, who are disenfranchised and marginalized. Let's get real here. We're not just talking about poor people, and people know that. They have common sense. People are smart. But I think that what we need to do is go back to our educational system. How are we teaching our children? How are we teaching our children about uh, the positive people who have been in this community and who have worked hard, even in civil rights, like Dr. Hector P. Garcia? The other day I was in class, and I was teaching my kids uh, about civil rights and I asked them, do you know who Dr. Hector P. Garcia is? Not one of them, not one of them knew who he was. Now come on, what's going on here? Now if they don't know what, who he was and what he did, then how are they going to care? How are they going to know? We know about Martin Luther King and what he did, of course, he was of national significance and helped everyone. But locally, what are we doing to promote ourselves? It's, it, it all comes together like that. It's supposed to come together like that, where we teach our children, but if we don't teach them, we don't tell them to be proud of themselves and who they are, then none of this is going to happen. All you know? Right. Uh, if you're tuning in, you're listening to our live broadcast, Abel. You know, I, I have to agree with Susie, and, and I know I'm going to get personal attack, and that's okay. You know, there's a beginning, there's an end. And the end of the palanca is there now. People are more educated, more intelligent than before. And they're going to vote the right party regardless of what it is. That's the fact. Now, our Democratic Party don't want to affect reality. They don't want to face the reality. If you look at the numbers after the election, you're going to see a percentage of Hispanic Democrats crossing over. Crossing over. And until they accept the reality, nothing's going to well, change. The, the fact of the matter is no one has used the word palanca. The only ones who have been losing the word palanca are people like Susie and, and Abel. We never said vote the palanca. No, look at the Democratic Party. Does anybody at, even know what that means anymore? I don't think so. I, I think I think that that's an antiquated term that we really don't use anymore. So to say that the Democratic Party is saying vote vote the palanca is just a misnomer. It's not happening. The question is, are we going to vote for Democrats who have the same philosophy? If we say vote a straight Democratic ticket, it's because you adhere to the philosophy of the Democratic Party. If you say vote a, uh, a straight Republican ticket, then that's because you adhere more so to the philosophy of the Republican Party. Let's get real. Let's give people some credit here. Let's, uh, okay, and let's let's look at the credit they're given. If you ha heard the commercials, if you heard the people speaking, if you've gone to any of the speeches of any of the Democrat or the Republican Party, you mm -hmm. hear the word palanca. You hear the word being used. So, no, no, that is an antiquated. It's still the old patron system that we're long gone. Why is I'd like the, for you to find patron. I bet you haven't even studied that uh -huh. because you don't know what the patron system is. Okay. Well, well let, look, look, let's, hold on one second. We're getting a variety of different uh, text messages messages and uh, we need to go over some numbers just in case okay just for the folks okay and we'll continue our our great uh and and for the audience who's tuning in right now renee science is joining us as well from south texas politics make no mistake this is not an argument nobody's well, upset no, at no, anybody no, no, this, no, is a, this is this is this is this is important this is what we want people to understand that this is how we've evolved that we are uh, folks that love politics and we're learning uh and trying to teach you guys as well that there's differences between everybody now and right and i think people mistake uh, our passion i think people mistake our passion for anger i think that's a big mistake when we're passionate that means we're passionate about the people and that's what we're talking about here 
Okay, let's look at the numbers real quick, like uh, Salomon Ortiz here. These are some of the votes, six precincts of the 145% or 4.14% of the vote, plus the early voting numbers. Salomon Ortiz is losing here in Oasis County, 12,944 to 8,228 votes. Uh, to look at some of the other races that have a lot of uh, folks talking about uh, here in uh, Oasis Car uh, County, uh, include these races. Uh, uh, for state representative, if you're tuning in, Raul Torres leading 6,739 votes to 5,296 to Salomon Ortiz Jr. Uh, well, no, we, we don't have any uh, numbers from the early uh, today's election. Those okay. were the early voting okay. numbers. The one that has numbers with, that have come uh, on election day are uh, Connie Scott and Abel Herrero. Connie Scott has 7,757 votes to 6,253 votes. Abel Herrero today, just today, 349 votes, 67 to Connie Scott. Is it enough as if, if that trend continues, uh, Renee? Well, it depends on the amount of uh, precincts we still got left. If the trend continues, what what what, what precincts are those? And I guess that that's the the real call right there. What are the precincts that are popping out? Remember, these are they are West Side precincts? Well, we don't know. Are they? We don't know at this point because we're, they're just giving us a generalization. Now let's look at some of the other races uh, like Angelica Hernandez and Judge uh, Manuel Banales and Guy Williams and Maricela Saldana. If you're just tuning in, these are the numbers: uh, nineteen thousand. 476 uh, here in Oasis County for Angelica Hernandez, a Republican, against uh, Judge Manuel Banales, 12,824. Guy Williams, a lot of people didn't think he was going to do that well, but he's doing very well. 17,988 to 14,512. Today, both candidates have seen uh, their numbers show uh, respect, respectfully 294 to 111 for uh, Judge Banales leading in, in today's election. Uh, and Maricela Saldana, 356 to 53 to Guy Williams. Is it enough, Renee? <laughs> Uh, you got you lost me on the numbers. You got to throw the numbers out again. Well, it, it, look, is, has there well, been a net gain? Is he the percentage going up? Right. Yes. The percentage is, is going up. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've only got. I mean, the, what? There's, only, there's 126 precincts in the county. There's only what? How many precincts have been counted? Six. Six. Okay, absolutely. I mean, to cover what? Uh, 1,500 votes. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, that's. It. Yeah, it's she, doable. She, she'll I win. think it's very doable. I think it's. I think it's more precincts left to go. It's anything is doable till the, till it's over. Anything is doable till it's over. Well, so what about the school board races? Well, let's look at the yeah. Ana Jimenez and Mark Skirka uh, <laughs> right now. Mark Skirka uh, leading right now. Ana Jimenez seventeen thousand six hundred eighty-three to fifteen thousand and fifty-three. Is is is, 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 is that doable? Mark Mark Skirka has got it. I mean, there's just no question about it. The, the his opponent has not a chance of winning this this race because. She, 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 uh, because she made those mistakes. I think those were, that was the problem from the get-go. She made a lot of people uh, angry. You know, we're talking about the same difference, 2001 race, 2000 and another. What makes one more easy to obtain than the other? But, but that's, we have, that's what well, you. you. know, that's what I'm saying. Be I, obviously, it's going to depend a lot on the 120 more precincts that are out. So that could be for Ana or against Ana, and it could be for uh, Maricela and against Maricela. Well, well as, we, as we said before. Well, look, Mar Maricela is going to win this race okay this bottom line she's gonna win yeah. okay um mark 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 mark, 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 mark is gonna pull this one off he pulled so off very Democrats. much ahead absolutely yeah. so and as does uh, joey gonzalez do well? joe, joe joe's winning he's gonna win it's it's the um precinct is gerrymandered for the democrat and so connie he will scott? win connie scott that's gonna be a close one but the trend is that abel's moving up let's we need to see what's going right on salomon ortiz will win and solid, solid Solly will win. And I think that uh, the thing about the difference between the Mark Skirka race and the Ana Jimenez uh, race, that particular race, is that Mark Skirka is enjoying bipartisan support. He's enjoying the Republican support as well as the Democrat support that's be coming in today. So he's going to win it. Give me your take all around the table right now. Clarissa Gonzalez, a newcomer into the political uh, uh, arena. Lloyd Neal, a veteran, a, a former mayor, and also uh, the county judge, even though he's a little ill right now.